What is your why? Who is your why? Why do you want to be successful? Who do you want to make proud? The college coaches lead the discussion about their why. All right. So I want to tell you guys something that I don't really talk about. I don't really tell anybody. But a big part of my why is my grandma. I love my grandma very much. She's in the late 90s. And she has Alzheimer's, so her mind's going bad. She forgets a lot of stuff. She forgets your name. She forgets who you are. But one thing that she always remembers is that when she was younger, she always wanted to be a nurse. But she never had the opportunity to. She never had the chance to. So every time I talk about being in college, she gets really happy. She's really proud of me. And that's something that keeps me going. That's my why. Because I am here. I have the opportunity to do stuff that she didn't have the opportunity to. So I want to make sure I make the most of that. So that's my life. Steven Tatagum, University of Pittsburgh. Coach C, today, you call me that. Um, my wife is my cousin. Uh, he took care of me. He made sure I was good. Uh, he supported me in everything I did. He passed away two years ago, summertime, around this time. Um, and I pretty much do everything for him. Like he's my superhero. Like he don't play sports. He's not an NFL player. Even though I want to be an NFL player, but that's who I look up to. So that's my why. Because uh, no matter how much stuff she has piled on top of her, she always keeps going and makes sure she has the best for her children. They need to do better. Like they're gonna always support me no matter what I do. If I still want to play sports or something else, that's why. That's their they're my why. Share. Like I told my group, my why is my little brother. Um, he is 18, he just turned 18 last December. He plays football just like me. He goes to University of Buffalo on a football scholarship. And I mean, growing up, you know, having a sibling like that, he wanted to follow all my footsteps. Like anything I did, he wanted to do. He used to cry and complain. Why can't I go, why can't I go, be John, why can't I do this? Why can't I? And it took me a long time to explain to him that he couldn't go because I was setting the next steps up for him. It was pretty much, I was writing a rule book at the end of the day. I was writing a story so he could follow my footsteps and go to the place he wanted to. And like, one of the things that he always wanted to do was go to play college football, because that's what I did. So when he got his scholarship, he, me and him had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So that's my why, making sure I do what I got to do to put him in position to achieve his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> my why is the same thing that she said. As, as while my mom runs a full-time business at a salon, she tries to make time for us but when she's on her own time and stuff, she's just out and living her life by herself. Because most every time we go to the, the store or something, she's buying stuff for us. And that's, and that's coming from the heart, so yeah.